Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is your general reading for August through the beginning of September. So I guess let's just say first half of September. Okay, so general readings may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And here we go. Let's see what we have for Cancer. General, August through September, first half of September. So let's work on what's going on throughout August. You had that one that came out, not the right time. Trying to make some moves, trying to make some changes. There is an opportunity that's coming in for you. However, I get a sense that this opportunity that's coming in for you is kind of interjecting something else that you were trying to do. For example, you wanted to buy a house, you wanted to buy a car, you wanna show steady income. You can't do that if you find a job somewhere else and then all of a sudden you see, oh, work history, I've only started working there for a couple months. So it's one of those. Two opportunities, however, some of the changes you're trying to make, it might not be the right time. You need to allow this opportunity to unfold for you. And there's something better. Okay, so maybe there's an opportunity that comes in that is just not for you, but they talk a good game. Let's find out. Let's find out what this is. Not the right time for what? King of Wands. The magician you were trying to manifest something for sure okay so that card of missed opportunities okay let me show you something here we go so it's not the right time you may have had several offers in a particular field at work in a relationship whatever it may be whatever this opportunity apply it to your situation you may have had several opportunities you were trying to manifest one for yourself right? You wanted this powerful new beginning. You're like this go-getter. You know what you want. You want action behind what you say. You put out. All these opportunities came in and you failed to take them. So when, when you fail to take them, you started working harder. The harder you worked, the more you started being recognized. And then you thought, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to do this. And here we go again, a bunch of opportunities coming in. You can manifest this new beginning. However, there are changes that you are not aware of that are telling you that there is something better. So if you pass the buck, if you fail to take up one of these opportunities that you get to the point that the minute something else comes in, you just wanna hurry up and take it because you failed to take the previous opportunities, understand? that this might not be the best choice for you. Now, I can't tell you what to do here, Cancer. This is all up to you. But you do have an opportunity to come together with someone. I, I get the feeling that they are pressuring you. Like if this is another company trying to take you, yeah, see? Cancer, if this is a different company, fighting for you we want you to be a part of our team we want you to you know train our people we want you to come in and start this new section of our business we want you to be the lead so and so place right but they're pressuring you to the point that you almost have to push them off like whoa give me a minute what's the rush and you almost want to take it because you're afraid shit i didn't take up those other offers I can't say no to this one too. I don't want to be ungrateful, right? But there's something better and it's okay. It's okay to, to figure out which choice you want to take. Now, if this isn't a relationship, I'm really not feeling it like it's a relationship, but if you're thinking that this is, has something to do with a relationship, you're being pressured. Okay, so when I said that, let's shift it over to relationship. I got those two cards, three of swords and five of cups. What I'm feeling is, if this isn't a work-related issue, and we're changing it now to someone having applied this to a relationship issue, you've been either unattached or seeing more than one people for some time. You're at that situation, at that point of a relationship where 
you know, one or both or all the people you're dating are trying to pressure you into something more committed and something more serious. Like, hey, maybe it's time we stop seeing other people. Maybe it's time it should just be me and you. And it's almost as though you're crying over the the three you want to that the three that you need to leave behind in order to only have two. Like, why are you crying over having so many partners? You have an opportunity to come in in union with someone and it's almost as though you're defending yourself to be single. You want to keep being single. They're rushing you into this decision. This is going to be someone from your past. This isn't the first time I just got this. This isn't the first time that they came and offered you the same thing. They walked away. You started seeing other people and now they're back and they're like, you know what? I thought you would have come to your senses. I thought you would have been bored with all these people that you're being with. You know you want to be with me. You know you want a new beginning. Look at this. The Empress card, the Magician, and the King of Wands, right? So the question is now, there's something better if you're single and you have this committed relationship coming in saying, hey, I'm this something better for you, or all these different offers you're getting are not the one. There's something better. Look at that. If you, if this person that came back into the picture and is trying to be like, hey, you've had your fun now, but let's get back on track. Let's get back together. Let's work things out. And you're being a little defensive, like, no, I don't want to go back to the way we were. We were always fighting. We were always at each other's throats. I know you want to talk up a good game, like we're going to come back in union, we're going to be together. But I get a sense that this person that's coming in trying to talk a good game to you trying to come in and being all sweet and loving we belong together if you guys had a past where you were constantly fighting constantly at each other's throats no wonder all these other options sound better this is a toxic relationship that's trying to come back and get you back so yes the angels are saying there is something better than a toxic relationship and if you're out there getting your feet wet one too many times, right? So you've been, you know, it's almost as though you rebelled. You broke up, you separated with someone. Maybe you were out drinking a bit too much, you know, sleeping around. I, I'm not judging. I'm not mad at you. Go get it, whatever, right? But you did that almost as though because the person you were with maybe was very controlling. Maybe they were very manipulative. It was their way or the highway, and they had you almost as though you had to buckle down and be in this version of, a, of what they called a relationship. But you didn't feel the freedom of being yourself, being comfortable, being together. So do you want to go back to this toxic relationship where maybe this person doesn't have to be a female because this is a general reading but maybe this person was very cutting with their words she's the she's she's the queen of swords the one that my regular readers know I call she's the cut a bitch queen cuz I will cut you right that's what she does anybody ever wonder why she's the cut a bitch sword queen of swords because she's been through a lot of shit She's been through so much shit that she's still trying to heal. And before she can heal from the past, something new comes, on, comes in and reopens the wound. And so, yeah, you can say sometimes she can be a bitter Betty. Not always entirely her fault. So there's something better. Maybe you need to make amends and clear the air. Give each other the peace to move forward. 
Maybe you need to face the reality that this is a toxic relationship, a toxic partnership if this is business. Tell me about this something better card. Okay, those flew. You want a new beginning, but they hold you back. Look at that. They slow you down even more from growth, from pro progressing in life. <laughs> they slow you down, right, from your own personal growth. But what was the first thing you did, Cancer, when you got out of this relationship or this partnership? You went wild. You went out partying, drinking, probably sleeping around, hooking up, hitting up old girlfriends, old boyfriends, right? Why? Because for the first time in a long time, you felt free enough to do whatever the hell you wanted to do without anybody bitching and complaining to you, right? But at the same time, you got to slow down from that behavior. You do. What was the point? You want to rebel for a little bit? All right. Now let's come back down to reality. What do you really want? Do you want, look at that. What do you really want? What you really want is some, you know, crazy S&M sex if you haven't gotten it yet. Or maybe you do want this relationship back, but you know, you know it's no good for you. You know that you guys end up at each other's throats. This is something where it might present to you as a type of twin flame soulmate relationship. You're thinking it's like runner, chaser, I'm coming, I'm going, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I belong with them. Yes, you mirror each other. You teach each other the hard lessons of life. But at the end of the day, does this feel like a relationship that can find its balance back and if that is something that you want to create with them then you would probably need some professional help some counseling of some sort they slowed you down in your personal growth they didn't allow you to be the person that you wanted to be right however this rebellious behavior that you took on afterwards slowed you down even more because now you need to regain your bearings now you need to figure out the consequences that you have to pay for those actions I'm starting to feel that maybe it's you who might want them back who might want to present that opportunity or you see an opportunity unfolding opening up with this person and you want to come in and offer them a chance to work things out. What's going on for the rest of August? Rest of August. Let's see. What is going on for cancer? Second half of August, please. A year from now. That card was trying to come out and I said, no, no, I'm not done shuffling. And it came out anyway. Unlikely. Come on. One more card for cancer, please. Communicate clearly. So, if you don't speak up about what it is you truly want, because I just got the sense that maybe there's a cancer here that sees an opportunity where maybe they can work things out. Let me rephrase that. Maybe they can get back together with an ex they have an opportunity of, I'm, I'm not saying work things out for a reason. Why? Because people that work things out, work out their issues so that they don't bring them back into a new beginning, right? I don't feel as though you're trying to manifest a new beginning. I feel as though you just want to say, hey, I'm not seeing so-and-so anymore. And you want to pick up where you left off without addressing the issues that were in your relationship. You feel tied and bound to this person that you, you're willing to do almost anything to get them back. 
I say almost anything because you might talk a game about how like, yes, I'll do anything you want. I'll give you whatever you want. But at the end of the day, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to put the effort in. Or it's probably them. They're digging their heels in because of what happened in the past. So a year from now, you'll be walking away from a particular situation trying to find higher guidance. Yeah, higher guidance, the temperance card. I almost feel as though you're going to want to take on some sort of spiritual journey here. Within a year, you're going to be feeling a calling or a need to want to take this spiritual journey, to want to see what else does life have in store for me. I've put others before me. I've, yeah, I've done this, I've done that, and it's time for me to do me, right? Seven of Swords. For some of you, for some of you who are involved in some criminal activity, some shady shit, a year from now, be careful because it's going to catch up to you. So this spiritual journey that you're going to be needing in a year or within a year is to reflect on why you behave this way. For others, this criminal activity, this shadiness, this deception, manipulation that's around you, that's hurting you, that's affecting you, will be so consuming that you almost want to walk away from everything and leave it all behind and just find yourself. You want to find yourself and see what's out there for me. This can't be the end all be all for me. Doesn't feel right. <clears throat> I also feel <sighs> within a year there's a cancer here or someone related to a cancer. Can there is somebody, this just came to me, so please be careful. Someone who's out there doesn't care about how many drinks they've had will still get behind a wheel. They think it's only been one drink, maybe two, maybe three. Maybe they think that their blood alcohol level isn't as high enough to register or to impair them. This is someone who tends to maybe have a drink or two after work, after working 10, 12 hour days, who is going to be super exhausted, who is going to be so exhausted at the end of the day, they still manage to have a drink with their buddies, with their coworkers, with their girlfriends. One drink, I want to say one drink, it can be two, halfway through that second drink. They're going to feel this exhaustion that they just want to go home. But do me a favor and take a lift, take an Uber, get ride share. Because you'll end up falling asleep on the way home. Causing an accident, hurting yourself, hurting others. You will feel so much guilt. You will turn yourself in. And I know this is a very specific situation, but I know that there is someone watching this video that will relate to that. Because if it's not you, Cancer, it is someone around you. It is someone who you're drinking with. It might be a coworker where you start noticing them nodding off halfway through the second drink. That's when you need to say, hey man, let me get you an Uber. Let me get you a Lyft. Do them a solid Look out for them because now you're armed with that knowledge of what can happen. I see it very clearly. I do. So a year from now, let's move on to the unlikely card. Tell me about this unlikely card. And if this already happened to someone, please comment. Let me know. This just 
I can see it vividly happening. So here we go. Unlikely, Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot card. Two cards of forward movement. However, Cancer, this is your card. You want to like take off, go super fast, charge ahead, be victorious. Whatever plans you have for your future, relationship, business, work, family, whatever it may be. You want nothing more but to move ahead this way. Charge ahead super fast, right? This chariot card. However, you're you're moving more like a knight of pentacles, which is the slow, the slow guy. He's methodical. He overthinks it. You want to make sure everything's perfect and as fast as you want to move, it slows you down. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm an earth sign. I can tell you there's nothing wrong with that. You don't want to mess anything up. You, you're overthinking things because of mistakes you've made in the past. So in order for you to charge your head this way, you need to heal from the situation. There is hope here. But the way you're going about things right now with your current energy is unlikely. Apply it to your situation. If this is you trying to start anew with this relationship, here we go again, right? So here we go again. This two of cups comes up. This time the death card is upright. Why is it upright? Because you need to heal. Yes, you want to be in your own power, Cancer. Yes, you want to charge ahead. However, because of past disappointment and past depression and despair, you're moving much slower than anticipated and it's quite all right it's all right i already said it it's all right these are all look at horse moving forward horse moving forward and yes the chariot moves forward victoriously coming through that finish line you want to recover from this relationship and you want this relationship again relationship partnership job whatever it may be but you have to be willing to do the work, Cancer. You can't just expect someone to just say, oh my God, I'm so glad you want to get back together. Oh my God, I'm so glad you want to be partners, BFFs, whatever it might have been, roommates, right? Without addressing the reasons why shit fell apart. You build on a shaky foundation, it's going to fall apart. Two of Pentacles. So if you're thinking... Let me see if this is going to work out. If you're thinking, and the hangman flies out, let me see if this is going to work out or not, and you're still talking away to the other people that you were communicating with. See, you're still, you're still flirting and keeping those options close to you while you try to figure out if this works out or not, because before you say, before you say, you know what, I'm gonna work things out with my ex, you want to make sure you still got a chance at these people that you have in your in your area right now, right? You don't want to fully let them go. So again, I'm going to tell you, if you really want to work this out, you're willing to cut those people off. You're willing to put the work into this relationship. Stop trying to juggle being a single man and being a committed man or woman, right? Because I feel... I can, I can sense this. This is someone who's afraid to let go of their options to be in a committed relationship. Yeah, they're afraid to let go of the past. Absolutely afraid. So you need to communicate clearly as to what you want. And you need to be ready. Part of communication, Cancer, is to be open to listening to others. It's not just about you saying your, your, what you want, what your needs are, how you want things done, how you want your needs to be met. You need to be open and willing to meet theirs too. You need to be ready to work together with someone. Come together, collaborate. There it is. You know damn well you've been feeling left out in the cold or you left them out in the cold and you just feel this pull to them. Like you want to work things out, right? You want to work things out with them. However toxic the situation might be, 
however many times you guys have fought, however many times you guys have broken up and gotten back together again, tied and bound. This is not a healthy relationship. So if you want to turn this into a healthy relationship, you need to talk about why things fell apart and why they continue to fall apart. Because didn't I just say, you build that shit on shaky ground, it will all come falling down. Hello, Cancer. Hmm, the universe is going to say, nice try. I'm going to move you forward. And either you're going to leave this relationship behind and be ready to learn the lessons that you've been learning. Because this is a karmic cycle that you've been going through. This is a karmic cycle you've been going through. There are secrets here. There is shit that you are just afraid to deal with. Cancer. Ah, there she is again. You are tied and bound to this queen of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be in their chart. Or it could be just the fact that you guys tend to just like really use some cutting and harsh words with each other. I mean, super harsh. Where you say you love each other one moment, I, I almost feel like somebody here might even be narcissistic in their approach. Come on now, Cancer. Do you wanna do you wanna get reeled back into that toxicity? Do you wanna get reeled back into that toxicity? Be assertive with what you want, how you want things for the greater good. Not just because you know you're being stubborn and you're putting your foot down. Reconsider your approach. Be assertive and reconsider what it is exactly that you want. I'm going to take these two that flew out. This is your September. But I'm going to show you why I'm going to take these two. Be assertive. Reconsider. Forgiveness. Right? So, in order to move forward... You must forgive the shit from the past. Forgiving doesn't mean I promise I won't bring it up. Yes, that's part of it. Forgiveness means you release that hold it has on you. You release the responsibility from each other so that you don't bring it back. Yes, what you did was wrong. Yes, what they did was wrong. Yes, what you did to each other was wrong. Admit it, face up, man up, take responsibility, know what not to do, and move forward. Because this was a relationship that had you emotionally, emotionally imbalanced, mentally unstable, stressed you the hell out you two were like assholes to each other complete and total assholes you just you couldn't take it anymore there there was a lot of fighting whether or not someone has addiction codependency drug problems whatever it might be drug alcohol any type of addiction problems, codependency problems here that caused it. It's time to communicate clearly. Be open to listening to each other as to what hurt each other. Be, be open to listening to each other as to how you're going to move ahead from it. She's not leaving you behind. And maybe this is you. You're not leaving her behind. <laughs> you, with the wheel of fortune, it's like, I want to move forward with my life, but I want you with me. Or vice versa. That's happening vice versa. And this is almost as though either you're the one being assertive or somebody else is being assertive with you. That it's like, hey, you know what? It's time to grow the fuck up. It's time we stop, we stop behaving this way with each other. Maybe this is a relationship that you've been in for a really long time since you were in high school or something. It's time to do right by each other. So be assertive. You want a healthy relationship with each other? You and your partner need to do whatever it takes to make that happen because there is a lot of resentment, a lot of residual pain 
from the past. There were too many swords here that were used between the two of you. So reconsider. There's that king of swords. I'm telling you, cancer, man, you and whoever you were with, this was a toxic relationship. You guys talked shit, so much shit to each other. It's disgusting. Like, not even, like, joking around shit. This is like, oh, get out of my face. You fucking this and you fucking that, you know? Like, just, you nagged each other so much, talked so much shit to each other, but yet you can't stand to be away from each other. You've been separated for some time and you still think about each other. Maybe you've hooked up from time to time. And you know you guys aren't good for each other. You know you're not. The minute you two are together or the minute that you can't even finish a complete sentence, you go back to this feeling of, fuck, I can't make this work. I can't make this person happy. I've done everything I possibly can to have this new beginning. Now, if this is a female, don't even think about getting pregnant to get this person back. Let me tell you. And this is, um, if this is a male trying to do that, trying to get them pregnant to get back with them, don't, don't, because it's not going to put an end to your problems. It's going to make things worse because this, this is, this is the star card in reverse upright. Yes. Star hope, healing, optimism. What do you think it means? When your plans are stalled, when, when you can't allow a cycle to end and a new one to begin, you stall your healing completely and totally. So reconsider whatever plans you had in mind on getting this person back. If you're dealing, if this is you, Queen of Cups, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you're dealing with another water sign. It's okay if your investment didn't pay out. It's okay if you gave so much more to this relationship than they, than they did. You're feeling hopeless that this will never be what you want it to be. And that's okay. If it doesn't work out, if you try to communicate and meet each other halfway and it works out, I applaud you. Fucking yes, do it. But you both need to be on the same page. But if you know they're not meeting you halfway and you're left like this, I came back. I try to love them. I try to love her. I try to do this. I try to do that. Can't get no appreciation, acknowledgement. What am I doing here? Reconsider your approach. Reconsider what it is you truly want. You want something out of convenience. There needs to be forgiveness between the two of you. I do get the sense that this is a very strong bond, very strong connection. But man, have you guys been fighting really, really harshly. Tell me about the forgiveness card. There is a lot of love between you, but it's almost as though there's just enough hate, control issues. If you don't trust each other, look at that. Forgive, forgive the fact that you can't let go of the past. You can't move on. You can't move forward. You want this relationship back. There is love here. You love them. They love you. But there is someone here that's manipulative and controlling that wants to put their foot down my way or the highway. This is how we get the Ten of Cups. And that's all good and all. But when you start repeating the same cycles from the past, you bring the past back into the current and the future. And when the past wasn't all that great, had its good times, but not 100% great, right? You got to let it go. Improving health. Heal yourself from the past to be able to build a new future.
So let's talk about this improving health. If this had you emotionally and mentally unstable, imbalanced, you thought you were going crazy, this motherfucker was telling me that it's my fault, this bitch was saying that I did this, lies and manipulation, right? It was weighing heavily on you. I'm telling you, there's a lot of mental and verbal abuse here. Abuse. You would charge at each other, cut each other up, and then shit would fall apart. You'd say, fuck him, fuck her. I don't need them. I don't need her. And then the next day, you try to start all over again. Get back together. I'm sorry, babe, for what I said. I didn't mean it. I was, it's just that. It, oh, this one. Classic, right? Because this one just came to mind. It's just that you make me so mad when you do this. So are they really, or are you really, taking responsibility for your actions? Because you say, or they say, what you guys know you want to hear. I'll talk no action, baby. Prove it. You want to work things out? Stop causing me fucking nightmares, right? Stop causing me fucking nightmares. Oh, I, I hurt your feelings? I get you mad when I do this? Well, what about when you do that? And there goes the fighting again. King of Cups. This is not only a male cancer dealing with this situation, but also a female cancer dealing with this situation. Cut it out. Why are you guys fucking with each other this way? This is awful. I'm not going to judge. I'm not in your position to judge. But if you really want to save this relationship, it's time to say, hey, we need a safe space where we can say whatever it is that we need to say so that we can both heal from it and build upon it and move forward together. And let's let go of the past. And so to close out your reading, let me get your cards together here. I want, I want you to see all your cards from August to September. Everything you have here. So beginning of August to now, obviously, because we're halfway through the month pretty much. Not the right time. Opportunity. There's something better. Coming up mid to end of August, a year from now. Unlikely and communicate clearly. We start the beginning of September with be assertive, reconsider, forgiveness, and improving health. There is a lot going on here for you cancers. And I'm gonna get a message from your angels to wrap this up, close this reading out. Message four, give me a message for cancer please, August through September. Angel Bridget, caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. So you guys need to feel safe enough to speak. Feel safe enough to express each other's vote between, you know, each other's vulnerabilities. Feel safe enough to not be mad at each other the minute you say, it hurts me when you do this. Not everything is a negative, but if you can't handle the negative, how can you create positive? The point of listening to what doesn't work is to fix it. So Cancer, that was your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to order a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. Again, Cancer, thank you so much. Be, be, be cautious moving forward. Speak openly. Love each other and love yourself and respect yourself. Set up some safe boundaries before you get back together, back into a toxic situation. Take care. Bye.